Hey guys, welcome to From the Pages. I am Anthony. This is Collectors Entertainment Network, and we are going to go through the September 1986 issue of Sports Review Wrestling. But before we get into that, guys, I'd like to ask you, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I'd love to have you back. Please comment down below. Let me know your sports review or Inside Wrestling or any of the Apta Magazine memories. Guys, please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well. And go ahead and give this video a like because that helps a lot too. All those things help and they are greatly appreciated. All right, so September 1986 issue of Sports Review Wrestling. Let's get into the pages. All right, guys, here we go. September 1986 issue of Sports Review Wrestling, we got the British Bulldogs living on the edge of disaster. Sensational coverage of the first UWF title tournament. Lex Luger becomes a fan favorite and a marked man. Sports Review interview, Bill Dundee. And Tully Blanchard threatens Robert Gibson. The teeny boppers won't cheer you after I mangle your face. Well, them's is fighting words. All right. Let's get inside. Now, this issue is a bit rough. See, look, even that's a little folded back. So this issue is a bit rough, but it's what I got, guys. Right, so there we got ads, obviously. Here is your, you know, table of contents. And show the world you're a true wrestling fan. You got Pro Wrestling Illustrated merchandise. Pretty cool. Let's go over to the mailbag, sort of your letters to the editor, and double feature. You have Pro Wrestling Illustrated's Lords of the Ring and Ringmasters, The Great American Bash, only $44.95 each. All right, here is the Tattler, and of course, uh, that is Kerry Von Erich there in the picture. You have your correspondence here, and another full page of ads. As we know, these magazines are full of ads. All right, we accuse. This is where from time to time they uh, accuse someone of doing some dastardly deed. It's not in every issue, but it's in like eh, about every other. All right, and over here we've got the Wrestling Monthly, different from all the rest. Subscribe to Sports Review Wrestling. We have the Inquiring Reporter. There is Gordon Soley right there. And then, of course, another full page of ads all right we've got top wrestlers answer your question of the month this month the question is besides yourself who is your favorite wrestler submitted by seth kushner from brooklyn new york seth are you out there from brooklyn are you watching the show let us know all right, so we've got answers from Adrian Street, Ric Flair, Steve Simpson, Hacksaw Duggan, Nord the Barbarian, Nikita Koloff, Tully Blanchard, Nick Bockwinkle, Robert Gibson, and Billy Jack Haynes. Good stuff. Here we've got two full pages of back issue order forms, one for the wrestler and one for inside wrestling. Here is your Wrestler of the Month, Cowboy Ron Bass. Of course, when he came to the WWF, he was Outlaw Ron Bass. I guess that's because they already had uh, Cowboy Bob Orton. So he was Outlaw Ron Bass. More ads. And, of course, back issues for this magazine itself, Sports Review Wrestling. And here is the sports review interview. It is Bill Dundee. There you go. Can you guys make out any of the questions? I don't know. Here is some more of that. And Wrestling 86 for today's wrestling fan. The fall 1986 issue is now on sale. All right. Special subscription offer to Pro Wrestling Illustrated. There they're showing the Supercards 86 issue. And over here we've got sensational coverage of the first UWF title tournament. There you go. There's the brackets, guys. Look at that. Here, let me see. i get you maybe a better closer. Oh, wait, I think it goes this way. There you go, guys. Can you make that out? There is your brackets. All right, let's put this back and let's keep on going. 
course, here are the actual matches. Brett Sawyer versus Jack Victory. Buzz Sawyer versus Chavo Guerrero. Kamala versus Blade Runner Sting. Oh, we saw the Blade Runners with, um, was that with the Ultimate Warrior? I don't know. Rick Steiner versus Steve Williams. Terry Taylor versus Michael Hayes. Ted DiBiase versus Blade Runner Rock. Was Ultimate Warrior Blade Runner Rock? You guys let me know in the comments below. You, because I know he, he became the Dingo Warrior, but I mean, it's Blade Runner. I, I don't know. I, I, I know he was Blade Runner with Sting. Were they the only two? All right, we've got Hacksaw Duggan versus Buddy Roberts. Terry Gordy versus Coco Beware. Kamala versus Jack Victory. Terry Gordy versus Ted DiBiase. Hacksaw Duggan versus Kamala. Steve Williams versus Terry Gordy. And then we've got Terry Gordy versus Hacksaw Duggan. I guess that's the finals. And there a uh, Terry Gordy with the championship. Good stuff there. At the British Bulldogs living on the edge of disaster. What does that mean? All right, there you've got uh, them versus the Hearts. And then Tully Blanchard threatens Robert Gibson. The teeny boppers won't cheer you after I mangle your face. I'm telling you, that's some serious, serious fighting words. And there's some more on that article. Let's keep it going. Lex Luger becomes a fan favorite and a marked man. He was in Jim Crockett at this point, right? So was it the... Wasn't he? Right? Uh, yeah, 86, definitely. So, you know, it might have been the the horseman or whatever. So there's more of that article. All right, ratings analysis. Here we go. It's obviously going to show you the ratings or rankings here on the next page. Your top 10 singles, your top 10 tag teams, your NWA, your AWA, and your WWF. And then there's uh, the top 10 for the World Championship. And then, of course, you've got World Class. UWF, Florida, Mid-Southern, Continental, Northwest, and then your most popular and your most hated. All right, here's the mailbag is continued and a second chance to catch the big one. PWI's Achievement 85. That's where they give out all their awards. All right, this month in Pro Wrestling Illustrated, we've got Nikita Koloff, Magnum TA, The Rock and Roll Express, The Road Warriors, and Dusty Rhodes. Plus, we've got Randy Savage, King Kong Bundy, John Studd, Ric Flair, Lex Luger, Buddy Landell, and Steve Simpson. And over in Inside Wrestling, we've got Dusty Rhodes, Magnum TA, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan, plus Chris Adams, Scott Hall, Barry Windham, Dark Journey, and Lady Maxine. And here you go, some premium back issues from... Wrestler Annual and Pro Wrestling Illustrated. More of your mailbag. And more back issues. Wrestling Superstars and Wrestling 84 through 86. Alright, We Accused is continued. And then back issues for Pro Wrestling Illustrated. The premiere. Here's the Funks. But that's that's uh, Jimmy Jack Funk, and that's Dory Funk. Is that Jimmy Jack without his mask? I don't even know. Did they ever show him without his mask? And more on the British Bulldogs article, and more on the Lex Luger article. And then Victory Sports Wrestling, only $3 each. You've got Inquiring Reporter, there's Jesse the Body, and there's Gorilla and Vince right there, it looks like. All right, and Wrestling USA, the All-American Back Issue Offer. Good stuff. And there's the Tattler Continued, and then Wrestling's Best. You can get Pro Wrestling Illustrated, Inside Wrestling, and The Wrestler. You can subscribe to all three in one shot. Pretty cool. Oh, look, special offer for Hulk Hogan fans, Hulkamania from Pocket Books. Cool stuff. And, of course, all different other kinds of back issues here. And then over here is that's the missing link. He wasn't in WWF anymore at this time, right? Pretty sure he wasn't. The UWF tournament continued. 
And then we've got the greatest deal if you want Inside Wrestling and The Wrestler. Say either you don't want PWI or you already have a subscription to PWI, you can get just those two. Alright, the UWF tournament also continued and probably concluded right here. And then we go to the back and it's just more ads and ads and ads. And of course this beautiful ad, uh, wall to wall super color excitement pro wrestling illustrated all four for only $10. It's the super color ones, I guess that come with all the posters. Again, this magazine is a bit messed up, but that is September 1986 issue of sports review wrestling. All right, guys, that was the September 1986 issue of sports review wrestling. Guys, again, I'm going to ask you, please subscribe, please comment, please like, and please share. All those things help the channel, and it is so greatly appreciated. All right, so next week, we're going to get into the October 1986 issue of Sports Review Wrestling. But until then, guys, have a good one.